welcome to another enthralling edition of the Breakpoint Show, where you have free access to all things tennis in Mzansi. Let's check out what has been hot and happening on and off the court this month. The Super 8 Junior Series tournaments continue to discover young talent annually across the country. Tswane recently concluded their Super 8 Junior Tournament hosted at Kronklof Tennis Club. Overall, the week has been having some nice tennis. The only thing that I would say was a worry was the weather. The weather was very hot. And uh, if you could see, like, it took a toll on the kids, whereby we ended up not playing as many matches as we would like to, and we minimized the number of matches because it was very hot and we somehow started matches like quarter to eight, which we hardly do because of that. So that at least that 15 minutes help us in like putting matches when it's cooler. The tournament was really nice. I enjoyed the matches and the people here were also really nice. And the organizers made this a really enjoyable fun time. Um, the tournament was pretty well. It was pretty good. Honestly, I enjoyed it from the first match um, up until the last match. Uh, I just came here. Honestly, my goal wasn't even to win, honestly. Uh, my goal is just to try and do my best, work on everything I've been working on at training. Uh, yeah, I really didn't have too much. Um, I wasn't looking too forward into the tournament because I don't like doing that. Like when people would ask me, who are you playing next? I'd say, I really don't know. So yeah, I just try to focus on each match, take it step by step and yeah, just work on everything that I've been working on. The tournament was tough. Um, I fought a lot of hard in a lot of my matches, um, especially yesterday. I played a three set match and my body was absolutely drained. So I, I definitely had to mentally fight in this final. Uh, the first set was tough. I was 5-2 down and I just, I found inner strength and belief in myself and I just started playing like an absolute beast. Um, and then the second set, I just totally dominated. An absolutely great tournament, some tough matches, but luckily I was able to pull it through and come out with the win. Me and my opponent got to the same squad, so it was, a, it was a tough match. We're both friends, but it was lucky to come out and behave well and pull it through. I've had a good tennis year overall. I've won many tournaments now. I've had some bad matches though, but I've been working on it with my coaches and I've had a lot of fun. Um, this year, it had a lot of ups and downs. Um, it was a pretty inconsistent. It started off re really well. I got selected for South Africa at the beginning of the year. I uh, we went to, for a couple of trips, Zimbabwe in January, I think, and went to Egypt also in around May, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, and I've just been performing here and there. I think I've just been having a lot of ups and downs, honestly, in my tennis this year. But I think I've reached the point where I'm, I'm getting better and I think mentally also I'm just improving a lot. This year has been good but hard. Um, I've been training very hard this year and um, tournament wise it's been a struggle. You know I haven't been really believing in myself, believing in my game and my ability but this tournament I've really stepped up my level and I've, I've found myself on the tennis court. It's been a great year, I've played a few ITFs, got a lot of points there trying to get to top 1,000 at the end of the year. And I've cracked top 10 for the first time for first year, so. Tennis South Africa pride themselves in championing grassroots sports development for children from all backgrounds, investing in their potential and shining the light on the country's tremendous talent. It has been a wonderful season of tennis and new champions are born through this series. Trio, a retailer specializing in tennis equipment, apparel and accessories, are the new title sponsor for the Junior Masters Championships. The tournament features top eight girls and boys in four categories, including under 12, under 14, under 16 and under 18. The event serves as a platform for young athletes to demonstrate their skills and compete for top honors. Trio is a uh retail business that is specialized in tennis. We're getting involved with clubs, uh, we're setting up uh, pro shops at the clubs, we've got a coaching, we've got Toro Tennis Academy that does the coaching and uh, we try and assist the clubs, uh, create a lifestyle at the clubs. Cape Town Tennis is quite honored to be putting on the first ever the Junior Masters Tournament being hosted in Cape Town. It is one of TSA's top junior tournaments and it showcases the top eight players in the respective age groups from under 12 to under 18. 
It's gone fantastically well. I mean, there have been great matches in the respective age groups. If I look at the under 12 finals today, we've got two of the Western Cape players, Western Province players in the finals, as well as the boys under 14, which is fantastic. And looking at the rounds leading up to the finals, it has been fantastic matches that have been played. Tough three setters as well. In the Women's Trophy Contest, top seed Caitlin Ramdath from KwaZulu-Natal defeated Louise Jansa van Rensburg from Free State 6-4, 6-2. So it was obviously really good. I, I'm very happy with how I played. I think I managed my nerves well and I was composed like I didn't get too mad today. And Louise put up a really good fight because I was three love up in both sets and she was coming back and coming back. So she was always on my toes so I had to keep the pressure onto her. And yeah, I, I think I played good today. Um, we had really good energy, Caitlin's played really well, well done. Um, the rallies were good, I had good back ends but she just hit it amazing, like she played really good. So it was a good final, I played good. So yeah. <laughs> In the men's final, fourth seed James Hart from Gauteng stunned favourite Guy Forvag from Kwazin Natal to secure a 6-4, 6-3 victory. Yes, I did. I played quite well. But yesterday, like, I was just trying to get my legs to move because I had a four-hour match with a good friend of mine, had to save a match point. So it's always tough coming from long matches, like previous rounds. But I thought, like, I got into the match pretty well played well, kept my head, everything was good. Oh, it's very nice because my sister won it like some time ago, like three or four years ago. So it's really cool that we could both win it. So yeah. I just, I didn't feel great. Um, just, like middle of the first set, I just started to feel my stomach didn't feel great. And then I just struggled. I, yeah, I couldn't, I, I was just struggling to, to find energy to be able to play. Yeah, I just, I couldn't maintain the energy. I just struggled to, to keep the energy up, but credit to him, he played well. Congratulations to these talented young athletes for their well-deserved triumphs and thank you to Trio and Tennis South Africa for their commitment in supporting junior tennis. This partnership will undoubtedly elevate the Junior Masters Championships events and contribute to the overall development of junior tennis in South Africa. It's time for us to take a quick breather. Make sure you go nowhere because we'll be right back. Alicia and Ashley Taylor, a pair of talented sisters, settled for tennis from a very tender age. The Cape Town-born twins followed in the trailblazing footsteps of their mother, and they never imagined that they would be breaking boundaries and putting the Taylor name on the map. We were born in Cape Town and raised in Somerset West. For me, the upbringing of my parents, um, it was very nice. We were born... Um, we were born at a very nice place. Yeah, and they brought us up in a very good way. I feel like they always supported us when we needed it. So my twins are obviously amazing. Um, super proud of them. They are very different in personality, in their approach to sport. Everything about them is different. But at the same time, they're incredibly close. They do fight, obviously. They are twins. They can't play doubles together. It's impossible. It's a circus. Um, but yeah, we, we love them, we're incredibly supportive of them and their sport and everything that they do. Growing up with a twin was very good but tough at some times, but definitely having a twin by your side makes it much easier. Um, yes, I also feel like when off court it's very nice, but we do fight a little on court, but it's still very nice to have a twin. It gets tough, but we survive. <laughs> we started tennis at the age of like seven, so when we just started um, playing tennis, our coach was a very big impact on it. And I just feel like he made us feel welcomed and just really enjoy the sport. Our parents as well were very involved with it. They influenced us really well and encouraged us every step of the way in our tennis career. I, play, I played tennis growing up and it was almost a foregone conclusion in our house that they were going to play tennis. We all love tennis. We're completely tennis mad. Um, my son used to play tennis as well and they joined Nelius at a very young age and from there they just grew and grew and grew and now it's become this 
big thing in all of our lives is the twins' tennis. Our parents' support was really, really well and I really enjoyed how they support us every step of the way of our tennis and I love how they are always there for us and they always never give up on us. I also think they um, always had the support when we needed it and if we needed something they always gave it to us and never said no to something we needed for tennis. The twins have competed in a number of tournaments in the country and internationally as well and recently participated in the Junior Masters held in Cape Town. We actually just came back from Gaborone in Botswana. We just played two ITFs. Um, for the singles in the first one, it was a J60. I made it to quarters and then I lost, sadly. And for the doubles, my friend Marie Sonnenberg, we both um, made it, well, we won the finals of the J60, which was a really good achievement for us as our second ITF. One of my biggest achievements would probably be winning my first gross point in Pretoria. Um, I think it was a really good win for me and I just enjoyed it so much. Juggling school and tennis at the moment is our biggest challenge. Obviously, you know, mainstream school, there's, there's times and, you know, they school the whole day and then they still have to fit in a lot of tennis every day. Um, Ali, for example, is going to be homeschooled next year, obviously not by myself, but she's going to go into an online schooling system just because it's it's impossible to keep up with, with schooling and tennis. And Ashley, we're still not sure yet, but I think Ashley might come on board the year after next. And um, yeah, it's it that is the biggest challenge, I think, for any tennis parent is schooling and getting the kids on court enough hours a day. Um, tennis has opened a very wide like experience for us, especially when we played our first few ITFs, we met people from all different countries and it was really cool to see how they train and how their um, academies work and stuff. And also at this thing, travelling was it's very nice to, to have the opportunity to be doing that. Um, when travelling, it's really nice when you can travel with your coach, especially when he's really good and he's always there for you. And also meeting new people is a very good experience, especially for young children like us at this age. It's really wild to like see how they train and to see how they um, play on court. The year's been really well, especially the ITFs that I just started playing. I felt um, I took way too long to play ITFs. I love it so much. And I'm really looking forward to next year. It gives us another year to go full out on the tennis and I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I think this year has been quite a surprise. I mean, I didn't expect to play any ITS, but playing my first ITS was a really amazing experience. And I do think next year we're going to be playing a lot more and it's going to be very fun to see um, and meet a lot of new people. The thing I'd really like to say is obviously none of this happens without the, the incredible coaches, Nelius and Yannicka. Um, without them, this would honestly not even be possible. They, they are part of our family. We spend a lot of time together. They spend a lot of time with our kids. And um, as his parents, myself and Will are incredibly grateful that we have them in the girls' lives because they, they're a very positive influence and they, they genuinely work incredibly hard for, for the girls' dreams and goals. Um, my role model is definitely Paula Bedusa because she always has a very high um, confidence and her fighting spirit is always amazing and she never gives up. Uh, one of my role models would probably be Alcaraz, Carlos Alcaraz, because he fights for every point and he never gives up and he's always positive on court. And another um, role model would probably be Coco Golf because it's just cool to see how she's been playing all these grand slams at such a young age and she just won her first one and I think her reaction to winning that was really cool because she always wanted to win one and she used to be so small sitting in the stands and now she finally won one. I think it's really cool to see at such a young age. You know initially when they started playing tennis the whole goal was that they just enjoyed it and it's something to keep them fit and focused but now obviously it's turned into something far more than that and I think our eventual goal would be for that for them to be able to go to college, play in the States and and see where they can take it further from there. 
You know, at the moment, we just literally focus day by day to see um, where it's going to take us or take them. But yeah, for us as parents, the goal is for to be able to offer them uh, an amazing opportunity in education in America. I would love to go to college and also um, play junior Wimbledon one day. And I want to go to the States in America, which will be really, really nice. But I also want to play Division One. But it's going to be quite tough to get in, so I have to work hard and keep up the hard work. And you? Um, I also think I want to go to the States for um, my college and just to, the experience of all of that will be very nice to see how it, um, everything works. It's going to be tough but I'm looking forward to all the upcoming experiences. The Taylor sisters are certainly a force to be reckoned with considering all that they have achieved thus far. With what they've accomplished, there's no doubt that they are destined for even more success, given their dedication and raw talent. It's time for a quick ad break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Johan Gray Foundation African Junior Wheelchair Tennis Camp took place at Gauteng East Tennis Complex in Binoni. Over 20 players from South Africa, Botswana and Tanzania participated in the three-day camp which is aimed at developing the next generation of wheelchair tennis players. The camp is all about giving the young ones an opportunity to come together and work with different coaches around the region and also to have an opportunity to compete with different players. So it's more about day one of uh, coaching uh, a lot and then in the afternoon then they do like some matches, play short sets and then the following day the coaches work again in terms of uh, the coaching and then there are some drills and all that. Kepela ine ilumunati ine i enjoy ya kaofe ne khona wabapala li ha ilumo ding rile rakopana just to enjoy the game. So we say thanks for South Africa Tennis Federation and thanks ITF to bring us here so we enjoy a camp. So we like so many. We learn so many things from from the camp. Our players like Kotazo, Donald, Alwande, Evans, all those players they competed globally when they were still juniors, which is why uh, Alwande was number one in the world as a junior. Uh, Evans was uh, the, the champ for the Africa U, uh, Global uh, para, para, para Games and uh, Youth para, Paralympics. He was a champ for that. And then Kotas also competed when she was still young as a junior. She was also a top junior, same as Mariska. But now, after that, we never had uh, another generation continuing. I started like them and I got my ranking and the ITF get to, you know, select which player has the more, you know, most potential that they can give a grant. And then you start touring, going to overseas, attending the camps and, you know, taking part in those camps just to motivate a player to be, you know, to be more confident of you know what they, they want to do going forward especially in tennis. When it comes to our high performance players the only chance they have is to play international and with these guys bringing the events at home like that it definitely accommodates everyone whether you are that player who can be a superstar or you are that player who's good in class but not good in sport you will definitely have an opportunity to play. From the Johan Gray Foundation African Junior Wheelchair Tennis Camp, some of the players went on to participate at the inaugural Itembelife ITF Junior Tournament that was held at Gauteng East Tennis Complex in Binoni. 
The junior tournament attracted players from South Africa, Botswana and Tanzania who battled it out for the top honours and ranking points. The week for ITF Junior, it was, it was a successful week. I mean, we saw players playing their level best. It was something that we never even saw. That shows that, you know, the camp did the work and the coaches did the work as well. Because, I mean, the level of play that we got, I can tell you in, in a year or two years, we'll be definitely hitting the world level. Because the playing, the, the way they're playing, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very happy. I mean, it's, it's very expensive for us to host tournaments, especially for wheelchair tennis. So to partner with the school like Itembeli Clit help us a lot because, I mean, they, they reduce the amount of money that we have to spend for the tournament. We have been participating uh, in the wheelchair tennis for many years and uh, we felt it is high time that this sport is being recognized because we are one school that has housed one of the first South African juniors, Kanya Klundu, who is uh, now uh, a senior. So we felt we need to just celebrate the achievement that has been done by the school and by the learners in participating in sports. You can look at how many years we struggled not having tournaments for wheelchair tennis because of you know not having a sponsor. And with this, it helped us to have the first event. And we're looking forward to other schools to definitely host us for next year. tennis, <laughs> but Likely, the Tendo select of my SA games that Lala, that's born on the year, come a semi final, that can you say up? And you know, ma'am, it's called when even cutters every day, but man, to make a tennis because tennis in a Mali. It's good to have this, um, the, these competitions because it gives the uh, uh, players a head start in the ITF community so that they can build up a ranking and become better and get more get more exposed. Kupalam ge tennis lokuba ndi ya men ndi yodlala. Pheshaya ndifumane imali ndikwazi ukwakhikhala. With this tournament it helps us a lot to to identify the young ones and try to close the gap of uh, high performance because right now if if our big guys are no longer playing then it means we're done in South Africa because we have plus minus six players that are on tour internationally. So for us to have your next KG, your next Alwande, your next Donald, it has to start here because they all started here. And then they have to play international tournaments while they're still young. So this is an opportunity for them to grow. It is Tennis South Africa's wish to expand this tournament to every province and give everyone an opportunity and develop future wheelchair tennis players in the country. A huge congratulations to the players for their incredible victories in their respectful categories. We hope to see you again next year. We have reached the end of the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember that you too can be part of the show. If you want to be featured in our next episode of The Breakpoint Show, make sure that you share your photos and videos of your tennis program using hashtag Breakpoint Show and tag us on all social media platforms. You can find us on Twitter, it is at TennisSA. On Facebook, it is Tennis South Africa. Or find us on Instagram, it is at Tennis double underscore SA. Until next month, keep watching, keep supporting, and let's say together, let's keep on playing tennis.